If you enjoy my art, it is available on a bunch of different products over at my Redbubble store. I also have a Patreon page where I post extra content and coloring pages. You will save 10% if you sign up annually. Links are in the description box below. I do appreciate the support, so thank you. Boop, boop, it's happening. Hi everyone, so if you remember me drawing this one, you've been on this channel for a while, but if you remember me drawing this one, you've been here for a long, long time. It's been about nine years, but I still get comments on my My Little Pony videos, and I especially love the comments saying that they saw the videos when they were little, and now they found it again and watched it and felt nostalgic, and some people even say that they got into art because of my videos, and that is just so heartwarming and flattering, and... I don't know, it is just so precious. Art and drawing is my passion, and if I can give it to someone else, that is just amazing. Also, My Little Pony art is what kind of made my channel grow in the first place. I mean, I made a lot of pony art back in the days. 2012 is when it happened, and this is one of the first My Little Pony pieces that I made on my channel. I think I sold the rest of the main six in my Etsy shop, but rarely is the only one left for rarity but I kind of understand it too the color scheme isn't that flattering to be honest if you ever bought an original My Little Pony piece from me let me know in the comments I did actually had a lot more of these but I think I sold a lot of the originals which is a little sad but I'm also happy that someone else could enjoy them so we also have this one this one I still actually really like I think it's pretty cute so as I said my my Little Pony art is what made my channel grow in the first place and I still get comments on my videos, meaning that people are still watching them. So I thought I want to celebrate that by redrawing the most disturbing My Little Pony piece that I made. Well, disturbing might be a strong word, but at least a little creepy. It is the main six characters as cats, I think. I do believe I was inspired by the Pusheen cat, but I don't know how well it translated into ponies as cats. The eyes makes them look a little bit possessed, to be honest, especially Rainbow Dash. I think people call them pigs, which I think is actually not that far away. There are so many strange things about this. So they are supposed to be cats, but why are they still having manes? Also, what are those mouths? It looks like butts. Even though I am roasting it a bit, even if this is a little possessed and creepy, I made it as a 2000 subscriber special, so it is still very dear to me. So I would like to make a tribute. After nine years, can I make this art a a little less terrifying and can I make them look like actual cats? And I know a lot of you would probably want me to redraw the real characters, the real ponies, but I feel like a lot of people are not into My Little Ponies, so I thought this would be a good compromise. But if you would really want to see me draw more My Little Pony related art on this channel, leave a like on it and maybe a comment just to let me know. But yeah, enough talking, let's get started. All right, so this time I'm actually gonna try to make them look like cats, which means that I will skip the mane, the wings, and the horns. And I think it could have been pretty cute to keep the wings and the horns, but I wanted to go all in with the cat features. And I arranged them in about the same way as in the original, and I noticed that there will be a little more empty space in the middle between the characters, since I didn't make them as thick as the Pusheen ponies, but I try to keep the expressions, they all have different personalities and energies, so I wanted to bring that out. Pinkie Pie, the one in the upper left corner, she has a very curly mane, but since the mane is gone, I made her whole fur curly instead, which I think looks so cute, and it is very fitting with her bubbly personality. 
doing all the lines in Procreate on my iPad and there is where I mainly do all my line work nowadays. Doing line art makes me a little nervous so I prefer doing it digitally where I can tweak it and move things around as much as I want to. And when I was done I just printed it on Bristol board and it is ready to be colored. My Copic collection, it is a little limited when it comes to certain pony colors, so I had to bring out my old Pro Markers too. I did do all my pony art with Pro Markers in the past, so I have collected a lot of the needed colors. Also, if you would like to color this piece yourself or any other line work that I've done in my videos, there are a bunch of them over at my Patreon. So then I just started coloring. It is pretty straightforward. I noticed that I had a little trouble finding a good color for Pinkie Pie. I haven't really prioritized pink in my marker collection to be honest. So she turned out a little more neony than I wanted, but I tried to tone her down a bit with some darker tones. And I remember that being one of the things that I was nervous and worried about when I posted pony art using the wrong colors because people always commented about that sort of things and I guess that is the thing when doing fan art, a lot of fans will tell you if you're wrong and that is just one of the reasons why I stopped doing a lot of fan art, people got preferences. I do prefer making my own art anyway though but yeah I tried to get as close as I could with the colors that I had. So a very big part of the character designs are their manes and tails, but in this piece, as we have established, they have no manes, but they still have tails because they're cats. So I try to replicate the original tails as much as possible, only a little more cat-like. Unfortunately, Twilight Sparkle, the one in the top center, her tail is hidden. So instead, I gave her dark blue ears and a purple and a magenta stripe on her head just to replicate the colors of her mane and I think this was a pretty nice and clever solution to get all her colors in there because even if we know that the purple pony is Twilight Sparkle it is even more clear now. And speaking of Twilight Sparkle I think I accidentally made her a little too thick which isn't bad or anything but I noticed now afterwards that that there should have been a line between her paws or between the right paw and Fluttershy's ear. There should have been a line defining her bellies. Now she has a bit of a blob shape but that is pretty cute too. It kind of reminds me of Sally. Comparing this piece to the old piece, I think my style has changed a lot. It is definitely not as wild and crazy anymore. At that time, I really liked doing this stylized line work where I made like double lines parallel to each other. And I really liked doing that because I thought it made the lines look a little less stiff and more alive. And it also added a bit of a sketchy look to the art because I remember I didn't like my art to look too clean. I often added graphite shading underneath the markers just to add some more textures and tones and that is nothing that I would do today. Not because I don't like it but just because my style has changed. I also did this over the top crazy colorful backgrounds but now I want things to look more minimalistic and clean. As my style is right now. I have simplified it a lot but that might change over the years. My style is always changing but this is how it looks right now and in maybe a year or so it would look completely different. 
And I also have to talk about the nostalgia. Looking through all my old My Little Pony art, I remember how huge it was. Well, not my art in particular, but My Little Pony in general. It was the only thing that I drew for a while. Well, the main thing that I did, I took commissions for people's pony OCs. I made my own pony OC. I made jewelry to sell, a lot of stuff. And I had almost forgot about that. So it was a very fun trip down memory lane and as I mentioned before people are apparently still watching my old videos I get comments quite frequently that they watched it when they were kids and now they found out about it again Which makes me feel a little old to be honest that I made a thing that people find out about again and feel nostalgic about But of course it is also super fun and it makes me so happy to think about it so I am so amazed that some of you guys have actually been here since the beginning that is just crazy to me this channel turns 10 years this year and that is like a million years on the internet but I just want to say how grateful I am for you guys no matter for how long you've been here your support means a lot to me yeah, to add a little more details and textures, I decided to go in with some color pencils. And I have this new thing that I like to do, especially in digital art, where I add these little lines to the fur. It gives the art a bit of a stylized look, and I have really been enjoying that. So I tried to transfer that look into this piece, but with color pencils. And it just adds a little bit of contrast and textures, and it just makes it more interesting and fun I think. I was a little hesitant whether I like this art or not but after starting adding the details and the textures and the highlights I really like it. I really like how this turned out. It is definitely different from the original My Little Pony Kittens. To be honest I think this new one it is cuter, it makes more sense with the cats but the old one definitely got its charm and it is just a a very dear memory to me. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and the nostalgia. Please let me know what you think and if you would like to see more videos like this and what I could do for next time and also what did you think of this redrawing. I know it is very different but I hope you like it anyway. I usually don't do a lot of colorful backgrounds anymore, not as crazy as in the original piece anyway, but as a little tribute I added some color blobs surrounding the characters. I had a lot of fun. I always enjoy making colorful art. This piece will be up in my Redbubble store and also coloring pages will be available on my Patreon page. So thank you so much for watching and for still being here. I hope I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats. Bye!